Hey, Bo, why is there so much negativity on social media? So it's a, it's a really good question. And I'm, I'm walking in the hills of northern Ibiza uh, thinking about this question. Why is there so much negativity? on the internet and it's a it's a it's a really important question because the consequences are really significant for many people if not all of us and even to the extent of being one of the core reasons why um, we have an increase of suicides among young people so i'm going to offer um, effectively three reasons uh, there will be others i'm going to just suggest three one of them is that it's an evolutionary reason which is that during evolution, dying was easy. What I mean by that is that there are more ways to die than there are to stay alive, right? Uh, your brain evolved not to survive, but to not die. It's not the same thing. And so our brains are very sensitive to negative. It's highly salient negative information, is, which is why the news is more likely to present a negative story than it would a positive story, because that story is far more salient to us. The second reason is um, that it gives being critical, which is very important to be critical, um, can give the illusion of intelligence. And it's really a sort of a pseudo intellectual way to give the um, sense that you understand something. But so much of the negativity that exists on the internet is not in the search of understanding, which is really what a critical mind is trying to do is trying to question something, not just simply to cast doubt on it, um, or not to prove how much one knows, because now you know that it's very easy to be critical, right? There are more reasons why something will fail than they will survive um, or be successful. So finding why something doesn't work is really easy, actually. Finding why something will succeed is actually what's hard. Um, so. People will be often negative, not in the pursuit of understanding, but simply to um, give this sense of being intelligent and pseudo-intellectual, in my view. The third reason is because when someone is in a disempowered state, when a person is in a disempowered mind, there are many things that happen to your, your perceptions. One of which is that you, uh, the illusions that we, we make in the lab, um, you start seeing them stronger. Um, you start seeing patterns where no pattern exists. It's one of the reasons why we're seeing so many conspiracy theories. Uh, you start, um, you become more gullible, right? And which means you also become much more like a prey. Um, and if you're a prey, think of a minnow. So I call this sort of the minnow syndrome. What happens if you're a minnow is what's the best defense strategy for a minnow? is to surround yourself by other minnows, to put yourself right in the middle, right? It's not that you actually necessarily care about all the other minnows around you, right? but what you want to do is have lots of them around you and to be right in the middle because that's your shield from the predators. So a lot of the people who are very critical and negative on the internet, it's because actually they're feeling disempowered. They're feeling um, little, they're feeling small. And one way to actually feel strong and, and safe within that is not only be negative, but to attract other people um, around you who have a similar negative view. So these are the three reasons. One, we evolved to have negative be very salient for us. The second is that we have the illusion of being intelligent by finding what's wrong with something, when in fact that's actually very easy, because just statistically speaking, most things are going to fail, very few things are going to succeed. Um, and that negativity is not in the search of understanding, which is really what a critical mind is in the, in the business of. And the third is the disempowered brain. When you're feeling disempowered, or you're disempowering yourself, you will not only be negative, because it gives you illusion of, of certainty and gives you illusion of, of control, but you're going to also surround yourself by other minnows and put yourself right in the middle of them as a defense strategy. So these are three reasons I would suggest for we ha why we have so much negativity on the internet. There will be others, uh, but these I think are particularly important. Um, and thanks a lot. I hope, uh, I hope, we, I hope we can actually um, by becoming aware of how and why we do what we do and how and why we see what we do, um, it can give us agency to see differently 
including the negativity of the internet and turn that around.